Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for another Roam 2 mod video. Submods are a beautiful thing. They are to mods what mods are to the vanilla game. They let us tinker and fine-tune larger mods to our specific taste. And really, that's what modding is all about. In the last video, we covered Constantine, Rise of Christianity, and one of your comments caught my eye. Mr. Awesomeness recommended a submod that changed the unit cards. I asked him if he'd be interested in a video dedicated solely to submods, and he said yes. So in today's video, we have the top 5 best submods for Constantine Rise of Christianity. If that sounds interesting to you, then a like on the video would really help the channel out. My question for you guys today is this. Which submods can you not live without, if any? Personally, I can't live without the Dynamic Combat Speed mod for Divity et Impera. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the list. Starting things off, we have Alternative Shield Patterns. If you watch my Constantine mod review, you'll probably remember that I absolutely love the look of the units in this mod. In my opinion, it puts Empire Divided and even Total War Attila to shame in some cases. And my friend Malay Archer agrees. Well, this mod makes them look even better. It adds high-resolution variations to many of the Roman shield patterns. Constantine's committed tenses get some awesome Chiro designs, while the other Roman factions get your more typical Imperial regalia. Next up, we have Faster Battles. This is probably a spicy take, I'm aware, but I'm not a fan of the way that mod authors tend to slow down the pace of battles so much. Rome 2 Vanilla's battles are already pretty slow as it is, as far as Total War games go. And when you spend as much time fighting minor settlement grindfest battles as I do, the slow pacing can really start to drag on. Thankfully, as always, we have mods to the rescue. Well, sub-mods, as it were. This one pretty much does what it says in the title, it speeds up the pace of combat. Units hit more often and do more damage when they hit. It doesn't bring the combat speed to Vanilla's 1 to 1, but it's close enough. Late Roman Champion is a rescan of the Champion Agent for the Roman factions. Short, sweet, and to the point. There's not much more to say about it, it does what it says, and it looks really cool. For Rome. Our second to last submod on the list is New Emblems and Emperors. This one does two things. First, it changes the faction icons to closer match the vanilla style, and second, it reskins the main characters for each of the Roman factions. I actually prefer the golden emblems that the Romans have in the main mod, but these alternate icons definitely fit the vanilla style much better, so if you're going for that, then this mod will definitely help. The makeovers for the four Roman Emperors look very cool too. Finally, we have unit cards for Constantine Rise of Christianity. Now, first things first, I think that the default unit cards are pretty good. They're readable and they have their own style. The only issue with them is that there just aren't enough of them. This mod redoes all of the unit cards into a 3D style reminiscent of those from Total War Attila. I agree with Mr. Awesomeness here. They look fantastic. So there we have it. Five sub-mods for Constantine Rise of Christianity. They can all be used together, and you can find the links to them in the description down below. Just a heads up though, you may need to force these sub-mods to load after the main mod by dragging them up to a higher priority in your mod manager, as you can see me doing here. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, then consider subscribing to the channel and turning the notifications on so you can be notified every time a new video drops. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.